this game bothers me. This loss to the Pacers, it bothers me. Because we fell apart defensively, offensively. We just fell apart as a team from top to bottom in the fourth quarter down the stretch when we needed to make plays. There was one person, one person tonight that I thought played acceptable. And that's Joel Embiid. I'll get to the others. But Joel, 28-14 and 14 at the half. And I knew he would slow down considering that the Pacers were going to double-team him. They're going to make him uncomfortable. I knew he would slow down. He ends up with 40-21. and 21. He was a beast. He was a monster. He was getting to the free throw line. He did what he needed to do to create enough offense for us, clearly. And I want to mention Ben Simmons right now. Because you can look at his stat line on the paper. Sure, sure, he did. He put up some points. He goes into attack mode early. Seriously, first quarter, we're playing well. He attacks. He takes it hard to the rim. And then he just stops. And it seems like every game, he just stops. We know he can be lethal. We see it. Why doesn't he do it all the time? Was the counter-argument going to be, well, Joel Embiid was going off, so you just kept feeding him in the low post, and you just kept feeding him. That's ridiculous. Ben had opportunities where he could have been aggressive, like he was early in this game, and then he just stops. Then you see him missing a dunk, then you see him missing a bunny, then he turns the ball over out of timeouts. I expect more out of Ben Simmons. Am I being harsh? Maybe. I expect more. J.J. Redick, 22 points. Another person. If you watched the game, you saw he struggled just all night long until the fourth. He hit a couple three-pointers. He hit a layup. But I don't like what I saw out of J.J. tonight. 19 shot attempts for his 22 points. And he was just jacking them up. Now, we don't have anyone else you can shoot. And when J.J. Redick, or when Joel Embiid was off the floor in the fourth quarter, what else do you got to do? I mean, he's the only one who can actually shoot the basketball. So, I guess I don't blame him. But I, I didn't find his play okay tonight either. And they added, those three together added 80 points of our 101. So what does that say about the others? Well, let's talk about it. Wilson Chandler, logging in an amazing amount of minutes, gave you zero points tonight. Furkan Korkmaz, where's the love now for the Furkan lovers? Six points. Six points. He played terrible. Air balls. Tough D. He played bad. And Moose, coming off the bench, provided you... Two points. So them together, they played around 76 minutes. They gave you eight points. And then you can look at TJ, who gave you, what, six? And then Landry Shaman, who gave you seven. It's clear our bench is thin. By the way, we also gave up 17 offensive rebounds. Sabonis was on the opposite side of the glass, Eaton. And we turned the ball over 16 times. I'm really disgusted once again. But, I mean, what are we supposed to do? We don't have the talent. We don't have the depth. No Jimmy Butler again tonight. So we lose a a bench player with Furkan Korkmaz having to start. We got destroyed in the second half. What, 64 to 42 in scoring? I'm just bothered. And I'm starting to look at Brett Brown and say, well, what are we doing? Because we, as a whole unit, just decided to stop playing in that fourth quarter. No rhythm offensively. Defensively, the dribble penetration is with ease. They were getting it with ease. On top of that, we can't guard the perimeter either. You got to watch guys like... What's his name? Coming off the top of my head here. I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting. Thad Young. Thad Young. We got to watch him go for 26 and 10 in a double double. We got to watch Bogdanovich nail threes in our face. Miles Turner walking in with the Dak Prescott jersey. And now we lose two straight at home. Another loss to a good team. I was looking through our past games and our 19 victories so far this season. Yeah, there's one here and there you could sprinkle in. That's good. We lose to good teams, though. We lose to good teams. The Bucks, the Raptors, the Celtics early. 
Now the Pacers. I've mentioned this before. You can beat up on the bad teams. And hell, you might even lose to the bad teams. <clears throat> the Nets. But what's it mean if you can't beat the teams like this? I'm just really disappointed on how we fell apart. We just, the team just, just forgot everything. Forgot everything when it came to basketball down the stretch. And it makes me sick to my stomach that I had to watch it. Our bench got outscored 15 to 39. We're going to have to find a way to attack that. We have to attack that need. Now, there was a three-way trade where somehow Ariza went to the Washington Wizards. Umbre got traded. And I forget what the other piece was that went to the Suns. But regardless, we got to find, we, we got to find a way to attack the bench. Because it is a serious problem. But this loss is just unacceptable from the boys. From top to bottom. Let me know what you think down below. Am I being too harsh on Ben and JJ? Because I don't think I am. One person came to play tonight. Joel and B. That's it. That is it. See you guys next time.